the music off. Who we got the copyright? All right, man. Look. So your boy Bezo with Wheels is stepping out of way out of his comfort zone, but um, life is about taking chances, man. You gotta. The old me, three days ago, probably wouldn't have done this. But I'm like, man, I got the opportunity to paint my dream car. Not only that, like he's a well-known top dog in the city when it come to cars, and and a lot of you cats know that, uh, especially out in Oklahoma City. So uh, this is how we looking. Door is off. It just uh, now a lot of people ask, why do you take the doors off? It's just one. It's like the. the <laughs> You almost got to care. You got a classification. You got a group of people that really, you know, I don't care. Just throw some paint on. Then you got cats that like, hey, I want my shit done right. I want my car. Like, I want to know the same amount of paint is everywhere. Just knowing that, knowing I took the time out to spin that. Some my painter did that. And yeah, it's a big deal to a lot of guys. And when you a car guy, like I said, you want to you want to go all out, especially if you're going to be going to shows. He's going to be bringing this in some big meat. So I got to I got to do it. It's my dream car. And then not only that, like <clears throat> the opportunity to even do it. I got to I got to it was eventually going to be done one day. I might have a customer might hit me like, hey, I want my stuff done right. Take my whole car apart. And like I'm like, dang, I ain't even done it before. If they ask me. Yeah, I've done it before now. So this is what we're doing, man. We stepping out of the comfort zone. I got one door off. We're going to put all four of these doors uh, in the barn, lock them up, because you'd be surprised. Um, other than that, man, uh, I got three more doors to do. It wasn't hard at all. I did it by myself, as y'all can see. Um, spoiler is off. That was probably the hardest thing. I've had a Dodge Charger before. I've took door panels off. That wasn't no thing. But a spoiler, oh, my God. Got to take the em more emblems off, Hellcat signs off. I don't plan on taking the front bumpers and back bumpers off because um, the driver didn't even ask for this. I wanted to do it. So it's like, um, I want to step out of my comfort zone, but I don't want to bite more than I can chew. It's why I don't have the bumpers off. Well, why do you got the doors up and not the front bumpers? You could have did the front bumpers. Yeah, hey, look, I just, it just dawned on me. This was a last minute thing. Like, oh, I want to do the doors. I don't plan on taking anything else off because originally I was just going to leave it all put together and paint it. But like I said, I feel like I, I feel the thrill, man. I feel like I took about two Red Bulls. It's feeling good today. Uh, so we're going to knock this out. Y'all stay tuned. I'll have all the doors off. Let's get it. This is the first time I've ever taken off a whole door uh, to a paint job. I've taken off doors multiple times. But to actually take the door off to paint the car, I've never done that. This will be the very first that I do. And I was not planning on it. This was like, literally, I just thought about this, just thought about this like literally like 10 minutes ago. So uh, definitely gonna go ahead and just take the doors off. And then once I get these doors off, we're gonna fast forward all the way up to the masking point. So I don't wanna bore you guys out with just step by step by step, unless you guys ask for it. So, uh, but I'm pretty, pretty sure I got plenty more of these to paint. Uh, within the future. So I'm about to get started on this. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned. back at it uh y'all see it man they ain't coming together slowly but surely it's fairly dusty in here i gotta crack this window i normally sand outside but it's raining so yes sir and i feel like this deserved to be sanded in here so uh yeah man i think i'm gonna call it a night um catch back up on it in the morning uh as y'all can see man we pretty much got it all taken apart um it was fairly easy. That's the only. That's another reason why I did it. Four bolts, four bolts in a harness. Like, take a door off. 
I took a door off a Chevy and it was like 18 bolts and freaking 30 clips and nah, it, 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 a car is just so much simpler. So yeah, man, y'all see it. Y'all see the progress. We're getting somewhere, man. Uh, y'all stay tuned. Yes, sir. So we slowly but surely making it happen. So yeah, we're gonna finish up on it and I'll cut y'all on. All right, man, this is it. This is it. It is showtime. Um, painting the 2016 Hellcat. Uh, your boy's dream car right here, man. This is a sign. This is a sign from God. Um, yeah, man, this is this is about to be fun. I'm really not nervous. I like spraying uh, matte. Uh, when I haven't had any issues with it, but I'm gonna get ready to wet this floor down. Uh, this is pretty much how I masked it. Uh, now, uh, I'm actually gonna do the jams tonight, just the jams. That way I can get some rest, sleep on it, cause I'm not sweating about the jams. Jams, jams go smooth. Uh, and it's it's the jams. You know what I'm saying? As long as you get good coverage, um, you can get away with a little bit of trash, not a whole lot, but. What matters the most is the actual car itself. So um, you have a little bit of leeway. You have a little bit of, uh, you know, your expectations isn't, you know, critical, as critical when it comes to the mask and the jams. But uh, when the owner was here, I was showing him, giving him a little example of how this, how you do the jams and why I did it differently. And, uh, you know, he was, he was hella surprised. He was real surprised. Like, damn, this is how you really paint cars? Yeah, but I told him it gets more in depth than this. But, um, yeah, so... I'm gonna get ready to load this paint gun up and then uh cut this heat on, get it, get the car warm, uh get the floor warm, get the walls and stuff warm. Um, just so we can have that paint lay down properly. And then uh we'll hit the jams, man. I'll cut y'all on in a second. Let's get it. Alright, man. We loaded up, ready to go, everything's wiped down. Uh, like I said, before you start painting, you wanna make sure you use your uh Wax and grease remover scared me. I thought that was reducer. I was like, no. Um, wax and grease remover. Wipe everything down. Gets all your fingerprints, uh, oils, anything that might contaminate the paint. Wipe it up with a microfabric or paper towel. And then go right behind it with a tack rag. Tack it. That will pick up the lint, the hairs, the fabrics, anything you might have missed. Pick it right back up. Um, finally got a paint shaker. Shout out to Clark's Wholesale and Paint. Man, they practically got everything. Anything you can think of when it comes to paint, they got it. They even got Modelo's. Nah, um, they got everything. 99% of what's on this shelf is probably everything you need to paint a car. And they got it. And this is where I got it. Uh, I got a few, th I mean, they got candy paint. Anything you can pretty much think of, they'll be either, if they don't got it, they'll get it. So, uh, big shout out to Clark's Wholesale. Um, even the pearls, um, yeah, practically everything, even paint guns, like any damn near any paint gun you can think of, they got, they, they'll get it. They'll get it. So, um, yeah, big shout out to you guys at Clark's Wholesale and Richard and all, um, overall, this is it, man. Let, let, I know I've been foolish. I know I've been playing around and I mean, I know I've been, I've been slacking. I need to go ahead and start painting. All right. We're about to paint right now. All right, bet. We're about to get it. Let's get it. And I know you're probably thinking like, why would anybody let this amateur, this, this beginner paint a Hellcat? I'm wondering the same damn thing. So y'all see it, this thing looking good, looking vicious, jammed it, um, got my, my satin clear over there, matte, you got eggshell, flat, uh, semi-gloss, you got options, so we're gonna try and stick around the, the flat and the, uh, what you call it, satin look, so yeah, man, we wanna, if we could keep it like this, like if it could turn out just like this, then great. Perfect, because this is the exact color I would like it to be. Shade, not color, shade, shade and color, really. So, yeah, man, uh, I hit about three coats of red. 
just to hammer it on there, get it on there good. Oh, excuse the roughness, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's hot. Got it, got it, got it pretty much ready to go. It's ready to spray. Uh, it's ready to spray. I got it, uh, wax and grease remover, tack rag, wipe down everything, mask the insides, masked everything that needed to be masked up, back taped everything inside, uh, Mario tape. So Mario tape, as my cousin just showed earlier, it's not gonna leave that hard line. Um, yeah, man, it's it's so hot. Um, I can't. I'm, what time? Oh, yeah, 108, 107, 107. So um, yeah, man, I'll ex pretty much explain everything later on. Let's get it. I mean, I ain't really had no, no problems, like no pigment size, no runs or trash or anything. Um, it's, it's dusty. Um, I will say it was real quick. It was difficult to paint. You're going to need a ton of tack rags or unless like if you're in my conditions, you're going to need a ton of tack rags because I would spray one side of the hood. And then by the time I literally come off the last stroke, it's like. It looked like somebody threw baby powder on the other side. That's the best way I can explain it. So with this, you're gonna need a lot, a lot of tack rags. I know my airflow is not the best. I don't even have airflow. As a matter of fact, last night, it was, the overspray was so bad with that with that matte clear. I literally had this door open, that. What's the door at? Oh, that door, that door open. I'm like, damn. And then this door, like, damn near halfway up. And the overspray was just still sitting here. So it came out really, really good. Um, I, I'm beating myself up because I want it I wanted so perfect. So I, I'm, I'm, like, like freaking out. Like, ah, oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? I'm, like, over, over doing my, you know, over critiquing myself. So, um maybe they my thing was maybe trying to make sure it wasn't no stripes let me let me see if i can twist this around all right there it is i gotta finish demasking uh look how dusty it is even from just like so that's why i keep i'm like oh god what is that why is it why does it look like that why is it foggy shady in that area so um still i got off of it last night so um, I hope y'all can see it. Um, I, I guess I see some stripes, but I have to tack the whole car down. So maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We'll back it out in the sun. I, I don't want to beat myself up yet because there's really nothing I can do about it now. Um, but I hit two coats of the dry, I mean, the, the matte clear on here. And that was pretty much it. Um, it's just time to put this thing together. Hope my GoPro... I don't even want to get started on this GoPro. So with the GoPro, I don't know what's what the issue with that is. It's having trouble doing charging. I don't know. I spent four hundred dollars on that damn GoPro, and I'm not happy with it at all. I haven't been happy with it. If you ask me, if you guys get the new iPhone 12 or the new Android with a good camera, that's all you need. Uh, other than that, man, this thing looks sick, sick, man. I wish y'all could see the full potential of it. Uh, 
I went, I'll be like, last night I went in here and went in there and was like, damn, I hope I didn't do this. I hope I didn't do that. Beat myself up. And then came out here and was like, damn, that looks good. So, um, I'm super excited about the driver seeing it. He's probably going to pick it up today. Uh, I'm going to let it sit for a full 24 and then he can pick it up. But later on, about five o'clock, it'll probably be a, been a, you know, full 24. I baked it at about 135 degrees for about two hours. So it should be pretty decent to take home. Um, other than that, man, let me put it all together and I will cut y'all back on. Let's get it. So this is how we looking in the daytime, man. I'm gonna keep showing it, man. My bad. I'm I'm excited, man. I'm excited. This thing look good. This is probably one of my one of my best works that I've done, if that makes sense. Best works, whatever you want to call it. Um, just cause like I like I, I I did it. You know how big painters would do it is taking off the door gems. It just makes it look so much better. Even though I do, you know, hit the gems regardless. But it just looks, it looks so much more professional. Let's go ahead and pop all of these open. Even the gas tank, why not? Um, yeah, like I said, it just, I, I I guess I do this work now. Like, do these, I do these type of jobs now. So, but it just all depends on, you know, the customer, if they want to spend that amount of money. Um, overall, I give myself an A+. Plus. Like I said, I'm always finding something. I'm like, dang, I could have, I could have done this better. Could have done that better. Um, I really don't have anything much to say on this one, um, unless I wanted to be picky about it. Like, oh, there's a piece of trash here and there. So I definitely, definitely give myself um, an A plus on it, just because one, it's a Hellcat, and and two, um, I'm 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 satisfied because I was down myself for a split second, and I was real concerned and kind of worried about it. So y'all tell me what y'all think. I'll let my work speak for itself. So I'll leave that up to the people. So y'all tell me how she looking. Depot on the beat.